Mats Madu. We are the children, we are the children, the children of God. Tam Kam Kam. We change our world, we have what it takes to do it smart and make it smart. Welcome to our world, Smart Do. Hello, class 5 pupils. How are you? Welcome to today's lesson. Uh, today we are looking at uh, a science lesson. We looked at uh, food and nutrition. Remember, we said nutrition is the process of uh, the prof uh, is whereby you provide the body with the right nutrients which are required in the body. We said that there are uh, five food nutrients in the body. We have carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are energy giving foods, and we know the sources of carbohydrates. We said we have proteins. Proteins are protective foods. And we know the sources of proteins, those are plant and animal products. We said also we have uh, vitamins. Vitamins are mainly from fruits and vegetables. We said we also have fats and oils. We have also mineral salts. Now, we say that a balanced diet from class 4, who can divide for us the term balanced diet? What is a balanced diet? What is a balanced diet? A balanced diet is a diet or a meal. First, it is a meal. That meal should contain, should contain all food nutrients. All food nutrients should contain all food nutrients. Should contain all food nutrients. And in the right proportion, in the right proportion. Don't take too much energy giving foods and take very uh, less prote uh, protective foods. Don't take too much proteins. You eat two kilograms of two kilograms of meat alone, and then you eat just a small slice of ugali. That is not uh, a balanced diet. It should contain all the food nutrients and in the right proportion. Now, we have two other main things which are very crucial or very important in the diet. We have water and fiber. We have water and fiber. Water and fiber are not food nutrients. You have to note that first. Water and fiber, they are not food nutrients, but they are very important in the diet. That is why you are always advisable to after eating, you take some water. Or even not even after eating. Every time you just take water. Why is water important in the diet? Let us first look at the importance of water in the diet. Is water important in the diet? For example, imagine eating dry ugali with just kelps alone, without uh, some soup or some liquids. That, that will not be possible. Water in the diet first helps in digestion of food. Water, these are importances of water in the diet. It helps in the digestion, in the digestion of food. Because sometimes you can be eating very hard foods, so it will help in the digestion of food. And it will also help in transport. It will help in transport, transporting the digested, the digested food. Water will help in transporting the digested food. Water will help in the digestion of food and it will also help in the transport of the digested food. Water will also help in the formation of blood. That is why we say blood is liquid, is a liquid. It will, uh, water helps in the formation of blood in the diet, in the body. It will help in the formation of blood. Water will also prevent, will prevent the skin from drying and you know what will happen if your skin will dry to start cracking so water will help the, to prevent the skin from drying your skin should always remain moist because water will help in cooling the body water cools the body water helps in cooling the body that is why during the uh, when when you are very you feel very thirsty you will feel like taking water and after taking water you just feel relaxed why because your body has calmed down you walk for long distances on the under the hot sun the sun is very hot you are just walking there's no shade you walk for around 4 to 5 kilometers just walking how will you feel 
you will feel uh, very thirsty, you will feel very tired, you will be sweating. So, what will happen? You just need to take just a cup of water. And once you take the cup of water, you just feel relaxed. So, water helps in cooling the body. Water prevents the skin from drying. I say that it also helps to remove waste. Water helps to remove waste from the body. How does water remove waste? First, through sweating. Once you, once you sweat, you just feel like, like you have lost a lot of uh, very many things, uh, waste from the body, even through urinating, even through uh, when you go for a long call, through the when, when you are releasing feces. That is the importance of water in the diet. Lack of water in the diet, lack of water in the diet will lead to something we call a dehydration. Will lead to dehydration. What is dehydration? Dehydration is the process of loss, losing water through the body. Dehydration is the loss of water. Loss of water through the body is called dehydration. Once you feel like you know, you, your body lacks water, you say you are dehydrated. It is like you are becoming dry or some, or some, some something like dry. You are dehydrated. How does the body lose water? How does your body lose water? The body will lose water one through sweating. The body will lose water through sweating. The body will lose water through urinating or even through vomiting. The body will, once you vomit, remember you don't vomit dry. You don't produce, remove dry vomit. You you, you remove a, a liquid like solid a, well, a vomit. You will also lose water through diarrhea. When you are diarrhea, you, you are losing, your body is losing a lot of water. So, how do you restore the lost water? How do you recover the lost water from the body? You should eat liquid foods. You should eat liquid foods like porridge, like milk, drink a lot of milk. You should also drink juicy fruits like watermelon to prevent the water from uh, to prevent dehydration or to recover the water that has been lost. You should eat the juicy fruits. You should eat uh, liquid food like porridge, milk. You should also uh, drink juices. It is advisable. And that is uh, the importance of water in the diet. Let us very briefly look at uh, fiber. Importance of fiber in the diet. Importance of fiber in the diet. And we begin by the determining, the, the defining the term fiber. What is fiber? Fiber are thread-like Fiber are thread-like food uh, substances. They are thread-like substances found in food. Fiber are thread-like substances which are found in the food. And fiber, it will help in removing waste. It will help to remove waste. It will help. It, it helps to, co to combine the waste together so that you can remove waste properly. Once, uh, in a situation whereby you are not able to remove waste, you just go to the toilet and you don't feel like that something is happening. You feel like you, are, you, are, you have a, a runny stomach. You feel like you have a runny stomach. That situation is called constipation. It's called constipation. Constipation is a situation whereby you are not able to release waste easily from the body. Your bowels are full, but once you go to the toilet, you don't uh, feel like uh, you are releasing anything. Sometimes you can just uh, diarrhea because uh, you say you. We say in that situation, you say you have constipation. So fiber will help to prevent constipation. That is why sometimes when you go to the uh, to the to the washrooms, you just release solid waste. You just release solid waste very easily without. Uh, without uh, problems. So that is the importance of fiber. What are some of the sources of fiber in the diet? Sources of fiber are fruits and vegetables. Fruits and vegetables. Fruits and vegetables like uh, kale, spinach, skumawiki. Uh, those are examples of uh, vegetables. We also get fiber from 
uh, the, the, from the skin of cereals like maize and wheat. The outer cover of maize seeds, and uh, the one you eat, you are eating gideri. So those people who eat the so-called mudokoi, you must have a very big problem. You should eat whole grain uh, cereals, that is maize and wheat. So those are some of the sources of fiber. I said the fiber will also only help in removing waste from the body. So that is the importance of water and fiber in the diet. Thank you.